users. Prepare to be digitized into the world of Tron. Welcome users. We're Monica and Eric, the Park Hoppers. We live stream from the parks here in Orlando several times a week and would love to take you along with us in the future. Please consider subscribing and ringing that notification bell so you know the next time we're live. With that being said, let's talk Tron. Tron Light Cycle Run is a high speed, mostly indoor roller coaster here at Magic Kingdom in Walt Disney World, Orlando, Florida. The ride officially opens on April 4, 2023 and will require a virtual queue that can be joined through the My Disney Experience app. Tron Light Cycle Run is themed after the Tron Legacy film that was released in 2010. This ride is very similar to the one in Shanghai Disneyland known as Tron Light Cycle Power Run. We had the opportunity to take part in a cast member preview in February 2023 with an invitation from a wonderfully kind cast member. We rode a total of four times that morning and had an absolute blast. We also learned a lot of things that we're eager to share with you today. Let's start with our walk up of Tron and views of the surrounding area.
So let's talk about the ride vehicle. When loading, follow the arrows on the ground as they'll direct you to your light cycle. Once you're at your cycle, you'll want to swing one leg over the ride vehicle as if you're getting on a bike and take a seat toward the front of the cushion. Kneel forward, placing your shins as comfortably as possible on the available pads. Point your toes and slide your feet back until comfortable. Lean forward and reach out to grab the handles, whichever set you prefer of the two sets. Pull the handles back toward yourself until you feel the back brace make contact with your body. The metal peg behind your knee will swing out as you pull the handles back, so you can tell if you need to adjust your legs by sliding your feet forward or back from there. You should be held in place at this point, but able to sit up some if you would like. The cast members will then come around to make sure that it is locked into position by having you push out on the handles. Let the cast members know if you're uncomfortable and they'll do their best to assist you. Keep in mind that any loose items will need to be placed in the available lockers prior to boarding. Cell phones can then be placed in the ride vehicle itself. Let's talk about the comfort of the ride vehicle. It should be noted that Tron Light Cycle Run is one of the fastest roller coasters at any Disney theme park in the world, leading guests to enduring upwards of four Gs of force. With that in mind, the seating comfort may have gone through some sacrifices in the name of safety and immersion. We found the handles to be unnecessarily uncomfortable to hold tightly, as they appear to be bare metal with the grip being a result of ridges machined into the surface. The shin cushions leave a lot to be desired as well, as there is not a tremendous amount of padding and we found ourselves lightly bruised as a result of riding numerous times. The seat itself overall was fine, but if you do not pull the handles to the point you feel the brace on your back, you may feel a sensation of falling out of the ride vehicle. So be sure to secure yourself in place when loading onto your light cycle. After getting into position and feeling the back brace slightly touch my back, I found it more comfortable to sit up slightly. That being said, sitting up more could cause more strain on your body, so keep that in mind. I sat leaning forward most of the time and it was an intense experience, but fun overall. So let's talk accessible seating. There are two accessible seats available on one car in the seventh and final row of one train. We believe that there are a total of seven trains, so six of the seven do not have accessibility seats. In total, there are two seats per row and seven rows per train, meaning 14 people can ride each light cycle train. As such, out of 98 seats in total, only two are accessibility seats, so be prepared to wait if you're needing those seats in particular. We do want to mention that the cast members do a fantastic job of moving people on and off the roller coaster quickly, and the ride is only about two minutes long. With all of that being said, let's take a look at the queue and pre-show. Attention users, you are about to be digitized into the world of Tron. For your safety in this world, all users should be in good health. You should be free from high blood pressure, heart, back, or head problems. You should be free from motion sickness or other conditions that could be aggravated by this experience. Expect that users should not ride.
users. Prepare to be digitized into the world of Tron. Overall was pleasant, but did have one rather narrow hall in which you wait for the party ahead of you to finish their pre-share before you can enter. But the cast members did a great job of making sure to space guests out and not cram the room. The queue after the pre-show is tremendously more open and well air-conditioned, making it a more pleasant space to continue waiting. Overall, we were thoroughly impressed with the theming of the queue and the ride itself. Tron Light Cycle Run reaches a top speed of 59.3 miles per hour from a standing start into the hills viewed outside of the ride, resulting in about 4 Gs of force. This makes Tron the most intense ride in Magic Kingdom and one of the most intense rides in any Disney park across the world. That being said, it's not this way just for bragging rides. It's truly a thrilling and enjoyable ride. After initially boarding the ride, you're swiftly taken to the launch room, where other guests in the queue may be watching from above. There's a countdown from 3, then you're quickly and smoothly delivered to just under 60 miles per hour before climbing and turning toward your right in a large arc. You come back down toward the guests entering and leaving the ride before climbing again and swiftly entering the show building. At this point, Tron really comes to life as the lights and sounds surround you, giving you the feeling of racing as you drop into the show building and begin a series of accelerations, climbs, and drops, going through numerous energy gates on your way to victory. This building is dark and well air-conditioned, so the bright lights from the ride vehicle and surrounding decor really stand out and immerse you into the experience as a whole. We rode a total of four times when we were given the opportunity to preview the ride due to the invitation of a wonderfully kind cast member. Upon entering the queue for the fourth time, the ride went down for about 20 minutes. There were guests seated on the light cycle in the launch room ready to begin their race, but upon the announcement that the ride would be down for a short period of time, the lights came on, and cast members assured the guests that they would soon be escorted off of the ride. Those of us in the queue were welcome to stay in line and continue to wait for the ride to be operational again. All in all, we had an incredible time riding Tron and Lightcycle Run and can't express that enough. We're eagerly anticipating the grand opening on April 4th, 2023, and would highly suggest the ride if you don't mind a more intense interaction. It was truly an experience unlike any other. Stick together. It's your only hope for victory. In the life cycle run, there are winners and there are losers. Who are you? <laughs> 